The Victoria High School alumni held its 8th annual toy distribution exercise in New Amsterdam earlier today. Michael Kahn reports. 150 underprivileged children in New Amsterdam were the recipients of toys and snacks earlier today at the Mission Chapel Congregational Church. The presentation was made possible through the combined efforts of the donors and members of the Victoria High School alumni, VHSA. Representative of the VHSA, Winston Franz, spoke with Channel 8 News and provided insights of the annual event. So what we try to do is get at least six barrels of toys each year and ship them down to the Mission Chapel Congregational Church so they can be distributed to all underprivileged children. The ages are 2 to 12, and most of, most of the event is done on the 23rd of December, one day before Christmas Eve. France for the related. The coordinator of this program, or the, the visionary behind the program, was Mr. Claude Tate. And then he included members like Winston France, yours truly, Dennis France, Ozzy Kendall, George Betchun, Donald Newkirk, Miss Hazel Johnson, Oliver Ferreira, these of Atlanta, Claude Tate of Florida, and affordable auto repairs. Okay, so this is, we have been blessed and we feel that we could impart some of these blessings to the children of New Amsterdam. Meanwhile, last Monday, the Sisters Police Community Network presented love baskets to four senior citizens in the community as part of an effort to foster better interactions with the East Bank community and extend the cheers to the less fortunate. Station Sergeant Margot Grosvenor expressed delight at being part of the event, as was Corporal Sulka, who is forging good relations in the Sisters community. Our network was formed sometime in October of 2615 and ever since we've started we've done a lot of activities we've with pedestrian painting both at Lighton Primary, Sisters Primary and also Edinburgh Primary we've painted the pedestrian crossing we've um, caused on the bushes in Edinburgh um, area we've have two we've had two fitness walk and the breakfast morning. Um, we had a fun day which was successful at the Edinburgh Community Center, a fun and takeaway lunch, which was successful. And um, this is our last project for this year. Come next year, we will have our calendar activities planned by the end of this month. So next year, we have a park. For the first quarter, we have a park activity. The ramps, they've been very supportive with every planning that we've had for the past month. So I would like to thank them for my stay, which was made very successful by them and the community. The event concluded with the singing of carols. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Michael Gunn, Channel 8 News.